What's up everyone? Welcome to the video that's gonna change your life. Today I'm taking things that you have around the house and we're gonna work out with them. All you need is a garbage bag, a backpack, a winning attitude. You gotta be strong here, you gotta be strong here. And a playground. And this one might be kind of hard to come across, but uh, water, water from your house, from wherever. You know, I get on the internet, I see a lot of people that are worried about their gear. They're talking about boots, they're talking about clothes, they're talking about what platform they're gonna use, whether or not they're gonna paracord mod their toothbrush. But you know, honestly, the best piece of equipment that you can have is your body. And I don't see anybody talking about that. You know, one thing that we're doing here today is we're gonna be able to replicate what you're doing out there hunting, whether you're scouting, whether you're, you know, hauling your stuff back. By being able to put this in a backpack, that water is gonna shift and move and it's gonna fire off all those muscles that you wouldn't have, you know, doing any other type of exercise. So that's the benefit there. Let's go ahead and get with it. So the concept here is a culmination of my ability to consistently pump out a C average in every type of educational format I've encountered. My random YouTube binging, and like most people concerned with their fitness or their body, a constant need for attention fueled by vanity and conceit. Now, I realize I went all bro science on you before I showed you the basics of what the hell I'm talking about. And for that, I sincerely apologize for my lack of filmatography, but basically I'm just taking a garbage bag, filling it up with water, tying it up, and I'm putting it in a backpack, and then I'm filming myself lifting and stuff or something. Now, I didn't do a video showing you how to tie a garbage bag so that it doesn't leak. I figured that you have a brain and you could figure that out yourself. Now, I'm not gonna BS you. It's probably gonna leak a little bit and it's definitely not gonna win you any cool points at your local CrossFit, but it's free and it does a pretty dang good job at what we need it to do. So you put this thing on your back, you're walking around in the heat. When it comes time to hunt and it's hot and you're carrying crap around, it's gonna be that much easier on you, both physically and mentally. So you're replicating that whole scenario. You've already played it through in your head and you know that you can go back as far as you want to. That being said, let's go do some working out. Okay, now that we got the corny workout motivation part out of the way, I wanna get really serious and explain something. I consider myself the king of sucking at hunting and I'm driven by the fear of sucking at hunting and when the moment of truth arrives. I had plenty of opportunities last year that I blew like a college kid voting. Instead of focusing on how exactly I screwed up on those opportunities, I came up with a brilliant solution of increasing my opportunities or encounters with big bucks simply because I'm edgy and like to gamble like that. Summer scouting's stupid. A lot of people tell you that anyway. Don't need to go back there and waste all that time and energy and sweat. I don't even have to walk there. I can just look at a map. I've watched all these videos. How it looks on a map is exactly how I know where to go. Most important piece of equipment you could ever have. Definitely got to be your socks. If you don't have merino wool socks, then you're just up, you're up shit creek. Cause if I'm not comfortable, then how am I gonna hunt? Yeah. You can basically do your whole body with this. There's, there's nothing you can't do because it's like a medicine ball with different handles on it. You can grab here, you can do both arms at the same time, put them together. It's just a really cheap way to get a lot out of your training. You know, save your money, spend on hunting stuff, spend on your kids. Sometimes spending more is not always the answer. With the playground, you're kind of limited. There's only so much you can do. I mean, you can do a lot of upper body stuff, yeah, but with your legs, you're kind of limited. So I like to come to my local high school's football field and do some bleacher work. But one thing I'm gonna do a little bit different than what you've probably have seen before is I'm gonna be holding this bag in all different kinds of directions and ways because I want my body to get used to shifting and moving. That's what we're doing right here. We're finding muscles we don't use that much. These are your balancing muscles, your stabilizing muscles, and you need those muscles to work whenever you're out there carrying stuff, slipping, sliding, and all that sort of thing. Let's go do it. If you're thinking this is over the top, then I don't know. I have a torn quad that reminds me of the difficultness and the demands of hunting public land. It was tough and such times will make you reach for a beer or two or six. And slide, and slide, slide again. Now for all you human tether balls that like to hunt out of a saddle, this exercise right here is extremely beneficial to you because your wife's not gonna think you look like a busted can of biscuits sitting up in that saddle. 
and it'll help you with all that saddle shimmying, shuffling, shuffling stuff that you do up in the tree. And when it comes time for the shot, you'll be more accurate. Anyway, moving on to things that a workout video should consist of. When I do workouts such as this, I'll usually do a circuit. So say push-ups, pull-ups, and you know, that. just Google a circuit workout and let your imagination run wild. It's not that hard to figure out. All right, guys, stick a fork in me. I am freaking done. It is hot. I have done sweated out like half my body weight. It's time to call it quits. It's time to get out of here. I've, uh, I've done what I needed to do. So if you like the video, let me know. Leave a comment. Anything helps, guys. I appreciate it. That's it, though. I'm getting out of here. Y'all have a very blessed week. God bless.